What is up, spooky people? Welcome to another episode of Oddity Acres. Today we are headed downtown Cleveland for a very special, really cool thing. Um, I was here years and years and years ago when I was a little kid. It's called the USS Cod. It is a World War II submarine and it is haunted. So we, uh, we're gonna bring in there, we're gonna talk to the history, we're gonna show you around, and we're gonna explore this really unique piece of history. So stay tuned and we will talk to you when we get there. How cool is this? Cool stuff. <laughs> Check this place out. All right. Into the belly of the beast. Wait, I'm supposed to climb down there? You're supposed to climb down there, yep. Come on, sailor. It's... I should have had better shoes. There you go. Going down. We are underwater in the USS Cod. This is crazy. So we are in the USS Cod. We are in Cleveland, Ohio, and we are in the harbor. Right now, we are actually under the water line, which is absolutely incredible. Just to look around here, I can't imagine being thousands of feet down in the middle of the ocean. I mean, this is absolutely insane. But we wanted to kind of give you a little bit of history, and the reason why we're here is because this is actually a very haunted submarine. This has been through some battles in World War II, which we'll get into. And, uh, but I guess we're gonna start here. And the, the USS Cod was launched on March 21st, 1943. And we're gonna kind of take you along the history and show you what there is to be seen. So stay tuned. Look at how there's cots. And it's kind of like, I don't know, is this like a gear room? I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's so weird. You can hear the water uh -huh. against the side. Yeah. So strange. That is weird. So I was just saying that it's really weird that there's cots in here, but then I got looking and I found a sign that said it's the forward torpedo room, which makes sense because there's giant torpedoes. So the cod was placed in commission June 21st, 1943 under the command of James C. Dempsey, Commander James E. Dempsey. Now, the submarine has faced many battles. Um, like in 1944, in fact, uh, it took down a Japanese destroyer along with 12 other ships. Uh, it had to stay submerged for 12 hours after that to escape the enemy. Uh, and it finally uh, reemerged 25 miles away in the middle of a horrible thunderstorm. So I found a potty, but I was reading there's directions on how to use it. That's a lot of directions just to go pee. <laughs> Ring, ring. <laughs> you know, oh, it's just weird to think that people back in the day used this. I don't know. Yeah. It's cool. So this looks like we're going into the officer's quarters. 
with how clumsy I am, I would never survive in this. <laughs> Whoa. A little kitchen. This is tiny. It is tiny. It's smaller than ours. I don't think <laughs> it's smaller. They're fake. <laughs> So the con was decommissioned in 1954, and in 1956, she was towed to Cleveland as a U.S. Navy training vessel. Look at this. How cool is this? It's incredible. Look, they have their own little filming. There you go. I don't this think is like, making long distance calls though. Oh, dust. This is like a private bunk, I guess. But this wouldn't be out of Yeager's if there weren't a few ghosts involved. So it says that this vessel is haunted by many crew members and some of the people that might have been tragically killed by this vessel. You know, when you have vessels like this that were involved in battles and wartime and death, I mean, that holds a lot of energy and a lot of spirits to linger. What you doing? Snooping. There's like little clipboards and stuff. <laughs> it's really cool that they have all the, the, the pieces here, like it's still a working vessel, you know? There's actually a story about a crew member who died on the ship putting out a fire as well. Not a lot is written about it, but they do offer Halloween tours and haunted ghost tours during the season. How could five people fit in this room? I gotta go through the uh, dark tunnel of doom now. Get out of here. You gotta see this. Look at this. Holy <laughs> cow. This is so cool. This is insane. I can't drive it anywhere. They have a chain locked. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. Over here, like Yuri. This is so cool. There's other levels, like below our feet, too. It's a pantry. You downstairs over here yeah if you look over here oh i can see the food down there it's another kitchen like the kitchen common area yeah look Look at this place. So this is kind of the whole submarine here. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it is pretty big. As always, we're gonna leave the link in the description if you guys wanna come here and check this out. But, uh, it is certainly worth it. It's incredible. 
Looking like another bunk area. Wow. Look at this room. Do you feel the spirit of Andrew Johnson here? I don't know. I don't know, but it's crazy to think that this might have been where he slept. Yeah? This is nuts. Look at this. So this is the um, crew photo. Wow. It said September 2nd, 1945. They would have this shut then. After Japan surrendered. Wow. It's pretty cool. This is the laundry area. It looks like maybe a shower area back there. Yeah. It's weird. They use every inch of this place. They have to. Wow. Look at this. Whoa. So this is the forward engine room. Wow. And it just keeps going and going. This is the engine room. This is just so cool to check out. They got the old timey music playing too, like they have everywhere. It kind of really adds to the mood here. It is crazy to see this. Put it in the comments below if you've ever been inside an actual submarine before. Actually, definitely put it in the comments if you've been to the USS Cot. It's real tight in here. Where are you taking me? I don't know, but it's really tight. This is cool. This is cool. Look at this. So this is the maneuvering room. Crazy. Check out all the small flashlight. <laughs> it's a little tight. What'd you find? It's a escape breathing device. And it says that there was one carried for each crewman on board. And then it, um, it's called the Momsen Mung Technology. Hmm. So it says in the event the sub was sunk in shallow water, a crewman would put the Momsen lung on and charge it with oxygen from green pressure bottles. As on the night of April 27, 1945, the USS Cod was patrolling the surface in heavy seas off the coast of China. Two electric torpedoes in the after torpedo room were undergoing a routine battery change. A malfunctioning hydrogen burner in the after body of one of the torpedoes allowed the highly explosive gas generated during the recharge to accumulate. The spark ignited the gas, causing an explosion and setting both torpedoes on fire. While the men fought the fire in the after room, Captain James Adkins sent Seaman Andrew Johnson and Quartermaster Lawrence Foley racing down the deck to open the hatch to the after torpedo room. While they struggled to open the hatch, a rogue wave washed both men overboard into the darkness. Seven hours after being washed overboard, Foley was found in the water. He reported that he kept Johnson, a poorer swimmer, afloat for more than six hours before exhaustion overcame both of them, and Johnson slipped off his back and drowned. Johnson became the Cod's only wartime fatality and stories about his spirit still wandering in the ship are still told to this day. This is just insane to be in. Such an incredible thing to see. As I said before, if you guys haven't been here and you live anywhere near the area or you're coming through the Cleveland area, make sure you check out the USS Cod. It's too limited to be washing clothes all the time.
that's gonna about do it for another episode of oddity acres i am glad you guys joined us this is such a cool trip this is just a beautiful ship and uh just a just a really really amazing thing to check out with so much history and uh you know wartime history world war ii history haunted history i mean that, that all fits in right with oddity acres so thank you guys for joining us as always please like and subscribe we do a lot of videos just like this so if you are interested in this kind of fun uh spooky uh historical stuff you're at the right place so we will see you next time on another episode of oddity acres stay scared and happy Halloween.